Okay, welcome to the channel. If you're here watching my video, I'm assuming you're here because you want to find out how to win at the new Shadowfall night mode of King's Canyon. As you can see here, I actually won one, so I'll tell you exactly how I did it. This is what you get, the Devotion Legendary Nocturnal Elegance skin. So how I did it was I actually did it with Mirage. Um, at first, uh, when I was playing, I had the, uh, what is it? Uh, the Hollow Man skin, but I think at this nighttime I stood out like a sore thumb. So I popped on <laughs> the Midnight skin just to hide a little bit better. I have seen others play with Pathfinder. That seems to be a popular choice because they would use his uh, grappling hook to get to the ship at the end. Um, I saw Wraith win, and Octane's Watson, and I think that's about it. But the main winner seemed to be Pathfinder. But I did it as Mirage. I think I've only seen one other player win with Mirage. Um, so let's, uh, let's get to it. Let me show you how I did it. So for those that don't know, this is a solo game. You don't play with squad mates. <laughs> that voice is so creepy. This is the first time recording my game footage in a very long time. Years. So hopefully I do this right. The FPS looks okay. Alright. So. Here we go. Back in King's Canyon. By the night. This is how I won. So everyone's gonna run the rush all the way over here in Skulltown and the main circle. I chose to go anywhere else but there as far as I can so that I'm alone. Let's uh so you can watch where everyone's going with the drop in. Um this is kind of an odd place, so let's uh I probably should have dropped a little earlier, but um, as you can see, you can see where everyone else is going. Basically try to avoid other players as much as possible. Let's go to the market. I don't think anyone else is coming here. Alright, so the trick is first- oh, there's another player. Ah, oh well. So, the shadow, when you die, you become a shadow. And these shadows, they have increased speed, but uh, very low health. And you can die really easily. Stay away from... Oh, coming. Stay away from sniper rifles, because, like, that's not going to be good with, uh... When you're fighting against the shadows, because they're really quick. <laughs> He's agreeing not to shoot me. I think we got a we got a teammate here. As I was saying, when you become a shadow, you got increased speed and climb higher, further. I guess this guy wants to chill here. <laughs> Uh, this guy just wants to survive. So the trick I found to winning is um, you have to make it to the top 10 at first. Stay within range of the circle where you can get to the ship. And uh, yeah, so basically what I do is I'll chill like uh, <laughs> until I get to the top 10. Then from there, Make your way towards the uh, where the the ship is gonna land, and as someone like Mirage, I can pop my ultimate and disappear and go invisible, and that's how I got to the ship. Because when every all the shadows that are alive right now, they're all gonna rush the ship and all gathering around at the bottom. So what you do is you know maybe throw a few of these ordinances, uh, try to clear a path, pop your ultimate, and rush in. I've seen that uh, Wraith who did it. She popped her uh, tactical and made it to the ship. 
I'm going to show on screen here. This is basically the ideal loadout. This is the loadout I had when I, uh, uh oh, someone's coming. Yeah, so if you look on screen, this is the loadout I had to win uh, my game. I think this is the ideal loadout because basically one hit with the Peacekeeper, the Shadows are dead. And with, oh, I had a Spitfire and, you know, with a largest magazine. So I never run out of bullets. Oh, another thing to note is when you're a Shadow, when you hit another player, you hit them for 150 damage with one hit. So right now I would die, even though it's uh, full health and white armor. I would die with one swipe. As best as you can, try to get blue shields at the very least, so at least you'll survive two swipes. In your inventory, you probably won't have much time to even pop some of these once you start getting attacked. You'll be dead. So fill your inventory with ordinances, your ammo, maybe a couple of heals, and but that's it. Like I'm going to drop these once I start picking up other ordinances. Once you make it to the top 10, you can see other players, and you're all on the same team. More turn to the shadows. I welcome them. Another thing to note is, oh yeah, as a shadow, you cannot open doors. So if you're hidden in a room like this, you're 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 gonna be stuck there. <laughs> All the shadows are gonna try to get in. Oh, another thing is, once uh, you get down to the last ten players, you can actually talk to each other in game. Uh, let's uh, let's go over here because I kind of want to get a, a higher vantage point. Down to sixteen legends. Oh, oh shoot. Okay, so <laughs> oh, that sucks. Shadow guy landed on us. Oh, I can't, I can't become a shadow. Oh, cause it's really top ten. Is that why? Oh, that sucks. So yeah, as you can see, yeah, the shadow guys are ruthless. You can see the other players, and I think as a shadow, as soon as you die, like there, right there, as soon as you die, you don't come back. You're done. Let's see. See, uh, we got two Watsons. Uh, yeah, see, no mirages. Like, am I like the only one that plays mirage? <laughs> I was, I'm guessing if they, oh, see, like one hit. I'm guessing if they cross the Watson fence, do they die right away? I'm wondering. Oh, it looked like it got through. Actually, uh oh. Yeah, as you see, they die really quickly, but they are fast. <laughs> uh, ruthless man, ruthless. Oh, it's the last guy, the last one alive. How is he alive? Oh, okay, he's done. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, as a uh, as a shadow, man, you can run really fast. You can climb up really tall walls. I wonder if you can even run up walls like forever. I don't know. I've never actually tried. I'm guessing not. But I remember running up a really tall building and made it all the way to the top. But yeah, that's the Shadow Fall game. So again, number one, choose a character that can get to the ship uh, without getting hurt because the ship's going to be surrounded by shadows. Number two, I suggest landing somewhere really far away from other people but still close enough to the circle that you can get there. Basically, you want to loot in peace, not have to run into other players. Get the best gear, make it all the way to the circle, hide out and wait till the ship lands and then make your way to the ship as carefully as possible. Choose weapons that will kill the shadows quickly and easily. I find like, you know, a shotgun, I think one hit will kill a shadow. A Spitfire, I think was good. Even like uh, Havoc and Devotion, you know, just a few hits and they're dead, but you know, there is a delay in, in the Havoc and Devotion. But when you have like three shadows coming at you, you want to be able to kill them all at the same time, all at once. Another thing is once you get on the ship, you're I think you're invulnerable, like they can't catch you anymore, but you can still shoot the shadow. So you basically shoot as many shadows as you can, try to help your your other players that are still trying to get on the ship. Throw out all your ordinances, arc stars, grenades, um, thermites, throw all of them out of the out of the ship at the bottom, trying to kill as many shadows as you can to help your buddies get on the ship. But yeah, that's that's my tip on how I won the uh, Shadowfall game mode. Um, I picked Mirage, I didn't see anyone else pick him. 
use your ultimate right before you get to the ship and jump on it when you're invisible. Uh, or you can be a wraith. I've seen people use wraith to get on there. Uh, or pathfinder. Use your ultimate to get a zipline directly there. But yeah. Good luck and hopefully you win some games in Shadowfall.